So your, your French is mediocre at best. Bonjour, Paris Bafouche Francais. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so you're there. Uh, the, the, every, actually, everywhere. The bell rings. Class is changing. Uh, so, Mr. Bouchard leaves French class. Uh, the students are getting up, leaving this classroom that you're in. Um, so, I don't know if you just follow them. Or just like go back to the library. I'm taking my civil duty as being the teacher serious. So until I see Dr. Odette return, I'm gonna act like I'm the teacher for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so so right away you see like eighth grade entering your class. You see a huge welt on Timmy Taxel's face. Uh, and but he's <laughs> he he knows that. You know, you, you don't go out of your way to correct him as like an adult or anything. You just kind of like let him walk away. So he sits right up in the front of your classroom and he's he's actually paying attention to what you have to say. Um, Which I take as tremendous encouragement. <laughs> yeah, so so you're, you like are kind of like forming this bond with Timmy right now where you're lecturing him and he's actually invested in, you know, this government conspiracy that they are somehow displaying the periodic table in just like a weird way. I, I now view him as a misunderstood star pupil. <laughs> Excellent. So uh, the second graders, I'm, I'm also going to employ him as like a uh, disciplinarian for the classroom. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so you look around, you see that He's some like people- number two. Yeah, some people aren't paying attention. And you actually pause the class to like give Timmy the go ahead to bully them, <laughs> which, which now you're like really forming that bond where yeah, I'll do anything to stay out of Timmy's way. <laughs> yeah. So now he's he's walking through like the the aisles, just like knocking notebooks over. It's like pay attention, pay attention, and he's like tearing up like people's like stuff. Uh, he like take he like whips open someone's backpack, just like takes the sandwich out of it. He starts eating it in their face, oh, and so they're like kind of look, they're like looking at you like is this this is okay now, and you just I'm I'm just nodding. I I don't think it is, but I'm too scared to say anything to Timmy about it. So so Timmy looks back to you with like this is like mouthful of sandwich. Like, I just like, like go back to teaching. Yeah, like, so he just oh. he walks up front. Yeah, you know, like walks by. You know he. He like belches in someone's face and this just goes back to his seat. So now everyone's like really invested in your lecture. Uh, so then the, the second graders at this point, um, let's see, sorry. I'm just having the class come up with different things they can spell using the periodic table and trying to make connections <laughs> from the words. <laughs> Look, you can spell fear. <laughs> yes. But yeah. what are we supposed to be afraid of? Iron, the government, obviously. <laughs> Iron and argon are government control. So now everyone's just like, yeah, like they're like, like <laughs> for some reason combining iron and argon are is now like a government conspiracy to them. And now I'm I'm scared because I heard that there's iron in my blood and I think the government's gonna control me. <laughs> yes. I would think the government's gonna control you if I heard that. Yeah, plus plus the iron mine is like a huge point for like the town's prosperity. Yeah. So now you have you have all of eighth grade believing that, that, yeah, that, <laughs> that that like the iron mine is actually like bad for the town and like the for some reason like the oh yeah the town is prosperous because the government's funding some some weird experiment there. All the kids in the front rows crying because his father works in the iron mines. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then the. And now they start talking about it, this this new rumor they heard as well that the government's funding the the pickle factory. So now with that rumor, they're like adding it together with what you're saying. Like now the iron mine, the pickle factory, the, the secret ingredient in pickling. There's just now 
they're just horrified. Widespread hysteria. Yeah. <laughs> all, all of eighth grade now is is, is just fearful of <laughs> the most profitable profitable aspects of the town. Uh, <laughs> Hard days work. Make it my, make it my <laughs> mission to like eradicate all pickled items from the town. Yeah, and and yeah. Timmy Taxel also spends his allowance on pickled stuff, and he used that previously to terrorize people. So now it's just all these dots are connecting all of a sudden, where Timmy's just pulling pickle stuff out of his backpack, and he's now he's, he's threatening other students with government control. <laughs> uh, so, so very quickly, on this this beautiful Friday morning, uh, second and eighth grade are being uh, just indoctrinated, indoctrinated <laughs> that that the town is is just like the this pit of government uh, conspiracy. So the second grade goes to history class with Mrs. Knight, if you recall, is the the monotone teacher. So there's a pop quiz. Uh, so so make some make checks for how you do on this quiz. Um, is Jenna in my class? Oh yes, yeah. I try to uh, to charm my way to uh, to let me copy off her sheet. Beautiful. So, so basically, you're initially going to sit down, oh, and yeah. you and you have Jenna just sit next to you, which which she like wants to do anyway. Of course. Yeah. So, all right. So that you have a, a charm check for your pop quiz here. Hmm. Um, yeah, boy. <laughs> I'll go. I'm gonna stick with brains. Nice. Okay. Uh, that would be a four. Twenty. 20 total. Oh. I rolled a 19 and I get a plus one because I'm charming. Okay, so so this was a, like a very easy check too, to convince. In fact, it, it was probably, I was probably planning on doing this before. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, yeah. My son is a star pupil. <laughs> so so Jen is, Jenna Garble, who's dressed in her typical pilgrim-like clothing, uh, is sitting there just like, you look over to her, like, oh, uh, nice you know, <laughs> You just give her the smile. You you say like three words to her, and, and she's she's just sitting there like doing like the pop quiz like this, like very obviously not covering her work, and and she's writing in particularly large font. So it's just like a very you, brightly colored gel pen. Yeah, yeah, just like bright red gel pen, uh, or say pink, bright pink gel oh, pen. I have a, she's putting hearts over like all the eyes. I just decided I have a large set of those stupid gel pens from the 90s. Yep, okay. Yeah. I, I often steal them from you because I'm obsessed with them. Because <laughs> they too are issued by the government. <laughs> Try to indoctrinate the kids at having better penmanship. That's why they're trying to force cursive on all it's the like children. Chemical tracker in it. <laughs> so, um, I'll actually say to you where your best friends with a uh, with Nellie here, that you've often heard uh, Mr. Nelson just like spewing historical stuff. And it's a, it's a mix of like accurate stuff and his stuff. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, so I'll say this is like a, a, so you, you don't do the best on the quiz, but you know, it's, you came close to, you know, you got like a C plus, uh, which like for you, like you're, you're not like super happy about it at the same time. You like never do homework and, and whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's a passing grade. Right? Yeah, so yeah. I passed. Yeah. Uh, so, so, and then you just obviously get a perfect score. Um, and at the, and so, you know, you're just sitting there smiling, like just looking up at like Mrs. Knight, like, ah, you know, like I am, I am the quiz. Uh, so Mrs. Knight's sitting there, you know, with, with her glasses, and she's just like watching over the class. So it goes in, collects collects the papers, and uh, so then she starts her uh, little lecture. Um, it's about the history of Winnetucket, founded 150 years ago by G. Jonathan with the G. He had very he had been bravely exploring and charting the land when he was attacked by a bear. He killed it with only a hunting knife, but moved by some spirit, he buried the beast, and the town land became extremely fertile. The bear spirit 
now protects this town. But when we deviate from encompassing the compassion of Jonathan, bears will attack to let us know. And that's why the town is known for its bear attacks. So you you guys do retain this information, okay, as well. It's because it's it's like right up both of your alley, mm -hmm. you know, like you you hear the little bit of the history, a little bit of the conspiracy. Uh, so, but she's teaching this as historical fact. So, uh, so then she, you can see, uh, she starts looking a little green. Uh, she's not, not like Hulk green, just like, she's like, looks like she might be like nauseous or having like, like stomach issues or something. Uh, so. Hey she, teacher, you, are, are you okay? Uh, I, I'm just a little under the weather. Thank you for asking. Sean. Do you, do, you, do you need a bucket? That's very kind of you, Sean, but I think that I'll make it through class. So she lectures on for like, you know, a few more minutes and like the bell rings. She's out of the class, like, you know, rocket. You, you assume she's just like running to the facilities. Uh, all right. I think she's going to have diarrhea. <laughs> you just announced this to the class? Yep. I just straight up announced to everybody she's gonna have diarrhea yep buddy i bet she is so you <laughs> so there's kind of like a mix of like laughter and just being grossed out it's like, do you yeah. think he said diarrhea right yeah exactly it's yeah it's like second grade so yeah. like more like the boys are like ha 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 yeah, and the other girls are grossed out yeah. uh -huh. so uh anyway class dismissed it's it's lunchtime uh, high school and middle school, all in the same giant cafeteria. It's just kind of divided, you know, like by grade. So it just progresses, like you know, along the lines. Uh, so there's a huge gap in between your tables, but you're both in the same cafeteria. Uh, so at lunch, um, I, I assume you two sit together, probably mm -hmm. you know, best friends. And do you do you go to lunch? I definitely try to get like free lunch <laughs> since I'm broke. Um, so you probably wait. Well you have the, uh, you have the treasure hunter, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, just roll a check for that. Oh, and I'm sorry. You guys have adversity tokens too. Uh, you have one. Um, Sean has has two. So got like uh, seven you, for failure. Let's say like you have four adversity tokens. <laughs> um, I rolled three times. Okay, got uh, three. Yeah, three. What do I roll for treasure hunting? Uh, so. Oh, actually, it's, it's. I think you just give me an adversity token. How many do I have? So we have. We'll say you have the one. Okay. Give me the one. So you so you find Doctor Audette's like faculty ID yes. with your treasure hunting. Uh, so so when you're going going for lunch, you just kind of like present the ID. Well, I did teach the class, so they should give me something. <laughs> so the you know the rules. Yeah the the, uh, the the lunch staff is is familiar with you, but. Like they all they they you know they really just care about like scanning the past so it's like all right, all right. right. so so you do get free lunch uh, you go sit at sec the second grade table <laughs> or you sit at eight with eighth grade now I don't want you sitting with me I'm gonna try to sit with Nelson Jr. first, and when I get rebuffed, I'm gonna sit by myself and like spread out all these papers. Sorry, Dad, I have. There's, there's not enough room here. This this chair is taken. You just sit at like the head of the table. Well, I have something to work on anyway. <laughs> Sounds important, Dad. You shouldn't be distracted by us. Okay, so you're sitting at like the far end of the table, yeah. like away from the, the second graders. Chad, of course, sits with. Mostly the baseball team, I assume. Yeah. Yeah. Being the star, you know, like dead center of like the baseball team, and they all they all worship him for being the, you know, the baseball star. Uh, so, Arnie Dinkle, the the son of the lumberjacks, um, so he comes over to the second grade table, and he's 
he's looking around and he's like, it's, it's so weird. Like, I heard from my parents last night that they saw this strange yellow liquid in the forest up north when they were chopping wood. It looks, they said it looked really unnatural. And so they stayed away from it. And then it went back and checked later and there was more of it. Uh, they, they think it's the bear spirit warning like not to cut trees in that area. I'm sure it's not just bear. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I really think it was the spirit, like what Mrs. Knight was saying. My parents think so too. Do I hear this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like leap just up and instantly behind all of us. Like, what was that? Yeah, like you're like full working on stuff. Like you're like intently like listening to the conversation. I like like grab a spare piece of parchment and pen and uh, I insist he gives me a full detailed account of it. <laughs> so, alright, so he like says to you, you know, like, oh, it started off, it's like, you know, just like a, a foot around and, and then it, it grew to like five feet around. Go on. Is it, is it viscous? Yeah, it was... It, I don't it, know the meaning of the word, sir. It, <laughs> Good point. <laughs> what? <laughs> Never mind. Go on. It was a gooey? Yeah, but it, it was. It was like bright yellow. Did um, it smell? It, <laughs> I don't think they mentioned the smell of it, uh, but but it, it looked like that. It was like really covering all the, the grass in the area. Like there's no grass like sticking up through it. And where was this? This, this was way up north, like on the, on the outskirts of the, of the town. Like a little to a little to the you know the the left there of the the mines, all right, so I like grab all my stuff in a hurry and like race off <laughs> to go to that location okay so 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 you're whipping by the tables, you like run by uh um <laughs> you run by eighth grade and uh th- so they're all just like, oh, where's he rushing off to and then and Timmy just looks around and it's like must be something super important. He's mean mugging him. They're just like, oh yeah, it must be. Uh, so, so then too, you like ru- you rush by like all the high school students, um, including like Chad and the baseball team. And so like you you see him all the time too, just where you know they're best friends, and he just follows them around. So so you've seen him plenty of times, and you might I don't know what like what's your relationship with him. Like with Chad, yeah, seeing him like just rush off with documents, like that might just be you know part of the chorus. Oh yeah, that's totally part of the chorus. Yeah, I don't like the fact that Sean hangs out. I like Nelson, but I think his dad's super weird. Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> that's so probably remember, why we get along. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so like, I don't, I don't understand why nobody else sees it. Don't worry, bro. Your dad's weird. <laughs> I think he's great. But okay. Weird. So you see, like, so one of the baseball players actually, like, sticks out their leg to, like, trip when you're, like, running by. I'd like to roll flight for that. Flight? Okay. Yeah. So, you're, so you're just flat out, like, dodging this. Yeah. You know, just, like, power leap over. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I need a 12 Thank you, Mom. Somewhere. I did. Uh, so ten. All right, nice. Yeah, so you like definitely jump like right over. Yeah, and then. Uh, so and you're also like aware, like you know, he's like obviously trying to trip you. So you're sprinting up, like leap right over it. It's like too important, to even like um, even like, mission. Yeah, yeah, I'm like solely focused on this one thing. So so then you're sprinting by and. Uh, you just hear like Vice Principal Geraldine. So you have a good relationship. He's like, remember, no running in the cafeteria. <laughs> I'm gonna walk as fast as I can. <laughs> Quickly waddle. Yeah, yeah. So she's she's like, you know, just fine with this and uh <laughs> So you so you run off, so you just like totally dismissing Arnie and especially where like your father's so Yeah, you know, I'm probably now more relaxed. Yeah. That my father is not the room. Yeah. So finally. So, uh, so then, uh, so Timmy Taxel, he like finishes like his meal quickly, 
And he, he approaches the, the second grade table, knowing that, that Mr. Nelson was just rushing off. Who's that all about? I don't know. Didn't ask him. So he's so he's looking around. He's like trying to pick out. You can just tell he's trying to pick out the weakest link. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Which no, actually, Sean. Sean's a, like a uh, more developed at ten, you know, than than yeah, sure. a lot of people in the class. Uh, so he's. Let's see. We're gonna say that. How old is How old is he, Tim? So he's he's fourteen, okay, but he's but he's four foot five. Okay, yeah. Okay. So he's he's like he's a monster for us. Yeah. So he's so he's yeah he's larger he's larger than you but uh small for his age. Yeah, and and like Arnie Arnie Dinkle is the 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 uh, six foot like like super tall for his age. Uh, so he looks over he sees he sees Hor- Horatio Hallowell. Uh, if if you'll recall, that's the son of the nurse practitioner and uh, Hubert, the telemarketer, who everyone thinks is like a super like weird dad. How far is the area with the yellows from the school? So the outskirts of town would be like a, a few miles. Okay, so it's easily rideable. Yeah, bicycle. Yeah. Okay. So you then I'd have to enlist the scooter gang. The <laughs> scooter gang. Yes. But that can be avoided for now. Yeah. So so Timmy What's just, the weather today? The, um it's is brisk but is you know, no no strong wind and it's just, okay. yeah, what, th- what time of year is it? Uh the fall. Okay. Yeah. So like beginning of the school year. Yeah. So uh so you see so Timmy grabs Horatio, like by the shirt. And so he's he starts threatening him with, uh, like very obviously with violence if he doesn't spill the pickled the violence. The pickled violence, yes. Uh, already pissed off from him breaking my Macho Man earlier, I just kind of get up and I'm, uh, I'm I'm gonna try and talk boy out of this. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a charm check here. So it's an eleven. Um, hey, you know. It's not, uh, what, what, what are you doing here? Yeah, this is nothing to do with you. This is nothing to do with you. This is all, this is all Dr. Nelson's stuff here. It's nothing to do with you. Sit back down. Go do your thing. Yeah, I'm just trying to find out why, why Dr. Nelson rushed off so fast. Why do you care? Because obviously he's the most intelligent teacher in the whole school. Well, I do agree with that. I actually he don't has think his he's own employed by the school. <laughs> <laughs> He, he has a teacher's pass, and he just lectured my classroom. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. So, so Chad, too, like, is, is cognizant of, like, what's going on with his, his little brother, too. So, well, not, like, hovering over him or anything, but he, like, glance over, like, every once in a while. So, you see you see him standing up, like, talking to, to yeah, Timmy Sean's here. like a made man. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, Sean. Sean is a, a huge buff dude. Uh, like by comparison to Timmy, like triple his size. Sean or Chad? Chad. Yeah. 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 I I get up and I walk over. What's, what's going on here, bros? He's being obnoxious. What are you doing? What do you want, Timmy? So <laughs> I'm just trying to find out what, what Doctor Nelson is rushing off to. Why won't anyone tell me? Uh, he's he's done a look at Bear P. <laughs> Timmy, I know you're like. Don't you get out of here? So, uh, uh, so roll a brawn for that. It'll be easy. Five. So six. Six. Okay. Six is good. Okay. So it's it's still it's, it's just enough. <laughs> so so Sean begrudgingly drops Horatio and just like starts you know walking away like all all upset that he doesn't know what Doctor Nelson's up to. Um. It's possible that many of my papers fell out of my hand in my rush to leave. <laughs> That's so, true, too. Actually, so I'll, I'm going to notice a lot of those papers on the ground. And, oh, I rush over and, like, scoop them up real quick. Uh, how, about how long has it been since he's rushed out of the room? 
like five seven minutes. minutes. He's say, yeah, not not long, but he's yeah, a few minutes out. Okay, um, I, I'm just gonna I'm gonna grab all the papers, kind of stuff them in my bag. Dr. Nelson, and just start running after him, bro. D- <laughs> it's true, I don't. <laughs> bro, what's up with your dad, man? Where do I start? Specifically, just right now. I don't know. He ter- heard something about yellow, yellow ooze at a tree out in the woods. Isn't that just sap, bro? I thought it was tea. But yeah, it could oh, be yeah. sap. Cool. <laughs> all right. Shout out to get caught up in all that. Be a good friend, Dad. I'm trying. <laughs> All right, so so Sean is, is sprinting after uh, Dr. Nelson, just like screaming. Uh, Vice Principal uh, uh, Geraldine kind of looks over. And says, no running in the cafeteria. She starts like banging her her little ruler. There. I'm faster than you, and I just keep running. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, snap. So she actually like Roll literally vision. gives chase, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so, uh, so roll, yeah, whatever check you think to um, get out of I this. I guess to get up and chase him. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he's gonna get me. Uh, so that would be a nine run. You want to? You want to like Just push her? Out push of her. Out. Oh! <laughs> I mean, I could. I was thinking brawn is term like. Oh wait, actually, would that be flight for running? Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. One might assume. One might assume <laughs> it is next to fight. Yeah. Um. All right. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna let me do that. Instead. Grit is also applied to like street smarts. That makes sense. So we got. It would be an eleven for flight. Eleven for flight. Okay. So. <laughs> so you you do I just outrun her. Like, I yeah. just want to just sprint away as fast as I can. Yeah. So with your your youthful spring, you. You just like outrun her out the door. She like chases you like to the doorway, and you just and so and then Chad, you're like sprinting oh, after two. Oh no! <laughs> I start sprinting after. All right, so, so you're sprints. So he sprints out. She gets to the door. You're sprinting now. She turns to you. It's like now she's like so pissed that he just escaped her clutches and sees you like rushing like rushing at her. This principal, don't worry. I'll, Fight I'll, roll. I'll take care of it. Don't worry. <laughs> Just let him go. He doesn't know what he's doing. <laughs> All right, so beat me if you have to, but not that, him. Thanks, bro. So, oh, so you're just straight up offering to, to take a beat oh, yeah, in this I place. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is she gonna allow a student to just vacate school property? <laughs> so, so she's she's gonna pause. She's like itching to like whip somebody with the ruler now. So, so, so you just, just so, so this is this is grit. grit. You just, just so this is you taking it. Okay, okay so, so roll grit. grit. Uh, five. five. Okay. So, so she like shamefully like whips you across the face and like you you kind of like give out it's like a little like you know Ugh. and so like <laughs> the high schoolers are looking over and they're like oh like he's he was just actually like in pain from like her whipping the ruler just like looking over like Ugh. like shaking their heads. I figured her reputation for being able to they wouldn't be that surprised. <laughs> yeah. That too, yeah. So, so you just remind them, yeah. you know, like, oh, but it was Vice Principal Jared Lee, like, you know, like, it's it's probably gonna hurt. So a lot of like people haven't actually been whipped by her. Like people do behave at this school <laughs> despite the ruckus going on at the moment. But enough people have been whipped by her. Yeah, enough people have been whipped by her though. Where it's like, okay, get it. Uh, all right, so now you're, you're so you're actually going to chase after him now. Yeah, uh, um, oh, yeah. yeah, sure. All right, so and, and she's she's going to, she's like going very clearly going to the phone now to to call it Sheriff Ace that students are just fleeing school in the middle of the day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, but you're staying put. Yeah, I have my lunch to finish. <laughs> okay. I'm hungry. Hey guys, Nate here. Be sure to check out the episode of the DeejCast that drops tomorrow. You can find it on Apple Podcasts or really anywhere you find your podcasts. Check it out. Okay, so at this point now, all three of you on bicycles, and so you're so you're riding kind of like vaguely like to the north of town, and they're like in hot pursuit of you. So they're just like full on like sprinting. Oh, Doctor Nelson. <laughs> so you're gonna go to your car to ch- to chase him down? Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so you run the parking yeah. lot. 
Yeah. Car keys on me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So you so you just run in the parking lot. Can I catch up to Sean first to throw him in the car? So, oh yeah, definitely. I was actually gonna jump through the window if you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing he saw. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just see the, the car go by and Sean's just like. I'd love to see the roll on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah Sean, get in the car. What are you doing? I, I gotta get him his papers. It's important. What papers? He's a lunatic. He's he's a a smart lunatic. If this will just we gotta just get go. Back to school, no. Fine. He's got it. We, he dropped all of these. Whatever. So I just I humor him and I start driving after Nelson. Nelson. All right. So I'm like pedaling furiously, but I'm in the high in highest gear because I'm weak. And so I'm not going fast. <laughs> 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 so Alright, so, catch up. Yeah. <laughs> so you easily catch up. Like he's actually in sight. Like you, I, I, I you make him get in the car. Probably ten cycle miles an hour. fast. Yeah. yeah. So you slowly you up. make him get in the car and then I'm already winded. So, <laughs> so then at like the, the crossroads of this road, you see old cranking butts coming on the motorcycle with a couple other like seniors. It's like kids, kids should not be, you know, skipping school. So at this so at the intersection, all of you meet. You've got, you've got Dr. Nelson. Uh, you've got the, the the Camaro. You've got this, these three motorcycles from the Loon Goons, and then you see Sheriff Ace in the distance now. So you have like the all of you are just meeting at the the crossroads here. The Loon Goons get back to class. But but shut up, old man. <laughs> So they're putting on the, they're putting... <laughs> and I feel out of my finger in the slug. Yeah. So... <laughs> so, so you, uh, so you don't force him into the car. Oh, I thought I had. Yeah, no, I totally forced him into the car. Okay, so you're gonna force him in the car. Alright, so... Th- and get him, I assume you don't want to get in the car, or do you want to, to try to escape Bloom Goons? What are you guys doing here? You dropped your papers! Those are important! I knew that! That's what I said! I told you! Uh, I now think whatever I'm doing is more important than school and consider them worthy uh, to help me. So I'm gonna jump in the car. You are gonna jump in the car? Okay. Yeah, yeah. We, we have to fun. get to the site! What site? The, the bear pee! Is the happening. Bear pee. Oh my god. It's just <laughs> sap, bro. It's bear pee! It's we'll know bear until pee. we investigate. Well, we gotta get out of here. Get the car. Okay. Shut so, up, old man. So, this, all right, so, all right, so you, are you just gonna peel so out? Go back, out. So yeah. back to school, though. I, I'm gonna. Oh, I go back to school. As I okay. get in the car, I'm gonna show Doctor Odette's bat, the uh, teacher badge, and say, "Oh, that's okay. They're with me. Official uh, research business for the school." And I'll roll. Uh, I'll roll charm on it. Okay. Hmm. I'll roll grit on it. <laughs> so you base so you're so you're yeah, using yeah, I guess yeah, using the street smarts to that's not really an academic thing, convince them that you're a teacher. Like you know like what the teachers are. Uh, yeah, because like. I'm flashing them a fake badge. Yeah. And, uh so seven plus one. So the okay. real badge, you just have your thumb over the, the <laughs> actual photo of it. Yeah, I do it slightly. Yeah. So, so, so you, so, uh, so you're like revving the engine to like peel out of there. Old cranking butts. You see him like go like this. And he like pulls out like his like super thick bifocals, and he kind of just like looks. You start driving off, but he doesn't pursue. Okay. So you you can tell that he believed you. So <laughs> screw you guys. Screw you, old man. So, so then, so you're peeling out, you're spinning around, Sheriff Ace is pulling up in his car, and then old, you see like, now in the distance behind you, that old cranking bus is talking to them, and nothing happens, the police don't pursue. So, uh, alright, so you're driving them back to school. Oh yeah, we're going back to school. Right, what? So you drive back to school. <laughs> whoa, 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 dude, why are we going back to school? Sean, you need to get inside, give him the dumb papers, and let this guy get out of here. <laughs> but, but I need get a inside. ride to the site. Use your bike. <laughs> uh, just, I'm gonna uh, walk. I'm gonna use my brain saying how important it is. This this could be a, a, a national nightmare, a huge disaster that could destroy the town. We have to get to the bottom of this. It's not gonna be anything. 
I'm gonna make this, this is gonna be an opposed. This is gonna be like a battle check. So you're gonna oppose. So I'm using brains for this. Okay. To use facts to sway him about the facts. importance yeah. of <laughs> facts. facts. But you present it in such an intelligent way. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm just gonna get minus three because I'm rebellious. Oh! <laughs> so I, I 15 plus one. Then minus three. Yeah. So 13. Yeah, okay. Still high roll, so. Okay, so now, so you roll, um, I guess to be like stalwart in your rebelliousness, either, I guess kind of what you would see. So it's either street smarts, like, is you like, you know him already. Yeah. You know, and so you could present it from a way where it's like, okay, like I, I know this guy's not actually employed by the school and like, he's just like some insane dad that shows up every day. So I, you could roll grit if you want to roll that. Um, I, I'm going to guess like, opposing with like <laughs> with brains Wouldn't is like not the well. optimal oh, no. way to go not at all. <laughs> yeah. yeah you said a lot of big words in those sentences uh <laughs> <laughs> not all of them were real words but they were big uh so and then just take your college words <laughs> just get out of here um okay so all right so roll yeah roll your pose check seven seven okay so, so, as it's important, we'll say, we'll say at least you like want Sean to get back to school. I want Sean back to school, yeah. but but you begrudgingly agree to give this guy a ride in exchange for just dropping Sean off with all the papers. Sean, just give him his papers. I'm gonna take him to his dumb spot. <laughs> but get back to school. Mom and Dad are not gonna be happy if they find out. Fine, go, Shad. <laughs> Nice work, kid. <laughs> Hand the papers over. <sighs> I will walk to go back to class. Okay. All right, let's get a weirdo. Where are we going? North. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Deejas and Dragons. Bunny, where this are you? It's a human. Look, look, I, I got a bunny. I don't know if we should trust it. <laughs> I trust it. That's why I don't think we should trust it. <laughs>